Hi, this is Lane at Liberty, and I'm here to talk about perforation cluster strategies, something our tech team can help you with. First, a little background. Rock permeability is one of the most important drivers for stage spacing and cluster spacings. On the left-hand side, I'm showing you an example in a higher permeability rock, a sandstone. Typically, we focus in horizontal wells on fewer fracks. Too many perf clusters can actually be wasteful for, uh, as they create early production interference, and our design typically focuses on creating fracture conductivity. In a true low permeability shale, we typically need typically require more fracks. Typically, we uh, want more effective contributions from different perf clusters, and we focus on fracture complexity. Now, typically, your permeability can be somewhere in between, and as a result, finding the best solution for your cluster spacing and your frac design is a balancing act. A lot of operators have been working on that. Uh, a lot of operators are working to create ever larger and denser fracture networks. If you look at this graph and let, let us work from the bottom up, operators have been working on creating higher rates in frac jobs to create a better distribution of fractures along the lateral. They've also experimented with perf cluster strategies. You see here, especially since late 2016, how cluster spacing has, uh, or our clusters per stage has actually increased while the number of perforations per stage has actually about, stayed about the same. Then on the top you see how overall stage spacing has come down dramatically over time, but lately has actually gone up a little bit, as operators are starting to reap the benefits of more effective perf cluster strategy, and they can let go of strict requirements on the number of stages that they do, and actually save money by doing fewer stages. An example of that is provided here in the work by Weddell, Griffin, and Pearson. That was uh, uh, published in SPE over the last couple of years, and one of the paper numbers is uh, listed at the bottom right of this, uh, this graph. Now, Weddell et al. Uh, actually did work to verify first with radioactive tracers how many perf clusters were effectively, uh, effectively fractured in a stage. And they did this initially with radioactive tracer. Their strategy was to use typically fewer perforations with more clusters to create a, a better distributed network along a lateral for each individual stage. And what they find is uh, shown here on the left-hand graph where extreme limited entry, these stages are shown in blue, um, typically results in significantly higher perf cluster efficiency than non-extreme limited entry stages that they also did. Um, and you can see how uh, the overall number of perf clusters or perf cluster efficiency increased from an average of about 60% to about 85% for the extreme limited entry cases. Now they expanded this case to now measure with step-down tests that were calibrated with these radioactive, result, radioactive tracer results of how many perf clusters were actually open. And you can see on the graph on the left, a lot of details, but overall, the cumulative frequency plot uh, for, the, for all stages shows that on average about 65% of holes are open with a, with a strategy of relatively low rate fracturing. Once we start at higher rates, higher rates above 70 barrels a minute, uh, indicated by the orange triangles in the data here, you can see that typically 75% of all the perf clusters are contributing now. So much, much better uh, effectiveness of perf cluster, um, perf cluster fracking that, we, that, they actually in court, that they actually obtained through high rate fracking with extreme limited entry perforation designs. Now in summary, optimized perf clustering design depends on reservoir characteristics. Liberty can help you, especially through DFID evaluation, to provide you with vital input data to answer this question. Step-down tests can be conducted in real time during a frac job to assess perf cluster efficiency. And an effective perf cluster design can help operators improve well performance and it can actually maybe save them money on stage count. Before your fracture turns into a cluster frac, consider Liberty. We can help you with perf cluster strategy designs 
and help you pump your job more effectively. For more information, please visit us at libertyfrag.com. Thank you.